Hey boys and girls, I have a really, really sweet book that I want to read to you today. And this book kind of makes me think about springtime and Easter because this book is called The Golden Egg Book. That's the title of a book. Where have we found the title of a book? On the front. And I want to show you. Oh, look. You're going to like the pictures in this book. You're going to like the illustrations. The author of this book is Margaret Wise Brown. What's the author of a book do? Writes the words. The illustrator is um, Leonard Weisgard, I believe. And what's the illustrator do? Draws the or makes the illustrations. So, and illustrations are pictures, right? So I want us to make some predictions. Look at the front of this book. Let's just look at the pictures. What do you predict this book might be about? Let me show you this picture. Mm, look at that sweet picture. What do you predict? You can say it. Mm -hmm. Who do you predict the main character is? Mm -hmm. Maybe you said, I predict this book is about a bunny, and maybe the bunny has an egg or found an egg. Mm, because bunnies don't lay eggs. Bunnies are mammals, so they have babies. They don't lay eggs. Mm. Mm. I'm just taking a picture walk. <gasps> Look. What do you predict? Maybe the bunny doesn't know what's inside the egg. What does it look like he's trying to do? What do you predict? Maybe get in the egg, maybe. Let's read this book because I'm not gonna show you what's in it because it's really cute. All right, the golden egg book. Once there was a little bunny. He was all alone. One day he found an egg. He could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? Maybe a little boy. Maybe another bunny. Maybe an elephant. Maybe a mouse. What do you predict might be in this egg? Say it. What do you predict? Hmm. Could it be an elephant or a mouse or a boy or another bunny? No, because those things don't come from an egg. When they're born, they're just born a little elephant or born a little mouse or born a little boy or born a little bunny. So these things, you have to think, hmm, what things hatch from an egg? That might be a good thing to research. What are what animals hatch from an egg? Because we don't we don't hatch from an egg, right? When mamas have babies, they just have little babies. So maybe you could research that. Who could tell what he would find? And how would a little bunny know that there was something inside the egg? He could hear something moving. He shook it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. He rolled the egg down a hill, but still it didn't break. And whatever was in the egg did not come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg, but because he was only a little bunny, it was a very little rock, and he didn't throw it very hard, and the egg didn't break. Pick, pick, pick. Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through his shining eyes. He sat very still and listened with his big, soft ears. Mm. Pick, 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 pick. 
that's an example of onomatopoeia, words that make sounds. Pick, pick, pick. Then the little bunny began to yawn. Oh, and he yawned and he yawned. The egg was very quiet. So he curled up all sleepy and warm, close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. Then, dot, dot, dot. What do you think is going to happen? What do you predict? Crackety crack! <gasps> Out jumped a little yellow duck! Oh my goodness! Look at this word, crack! Why did I read it like that? Say it out loud. <gasps> because it's written in all uppercase letters, right? And that's another example of onomatopoeia. It's something cracks. It actually makes that sound. Words that make sounds are called onomatopoeia. Well, what is this? said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? Oh, that's so sweet. The bunny was very sleepy, so he was still asleep and didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with a bunny in a big bright world, and the bunny won't wake up. Ah. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot, and he jumped on top of him, and he threw a little rock at him, and he rolled him down the hill. Hey, what do you notice? The little duck is doing the same thing to the bunny as the bunny did to the egg, right? At the beginning of the book. And the bunny finally woke up. Where is my egg? said the bunny. And where did you come from? <laughs> Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends. And no one was ever alone again. Isn't that so sweet? Now that's the end of the story. But what do you think? If we could add a page to this book, like what do you think would happen next? What do you predict happens next if we could add a page to this book? I predict that the bunny and the duck are, are going to play together. They are going to be friends for a long time. They might find things to do. Maybe they'll go swimming together down maybe by the pond. Or maybe the duck will swim and the rabbit will just watch. I don't really know if rabbits swim. I don't believe they do. But that's what I predict. You think they're going to be friends? Wasn't that so sweet? Oh my goodness, we could retell this book, couldn't we? If we retell it, that means we have to tell it in order. So like, you know, like if we were talking to, you know, President Trump, and he never read this book, we would need to tell it to him in order so he would know all about the book, right? Or like if your grandmother or your grandpa or maybe aunt or uncle or somebody, if they'd never read this book, if you retell it to them, you would want to retell it to them in order. So you could tell what happened at the beginning of the book. What happened at the beginning of this book? Can you say it? Ooh. There was a little bunny and he found a egg. And then what happened in the middle of the book? Let's, let's flip over a few pages. He wanted to know what was in the book and he tried, I mean in the book, he wanted to know what was in the egg and he tried to get the egg open, right? But it wouldn't work. Then he fell asleep, and out popped a duck, and the duck, and the rabbit, and the bunny became friends. We just retold that story, didn't we? We started from the beginning, and then we kind of told what happened in the middle of the story, and then we told what happened at the end. So now you can tell 
you could tell someone about this book. And you know, Boys and Girls retelling this book made me think that of something else, that maybe you um, have a book at home that like I haven't read or somebody else hasn't read. So if you read a book, maybe you could practice retelling that book at home and you could practice telling what happened at the beginning of that book and then what happened in the middle of that book and then what happened at the end of that book. So maybe with some of your books at home, you can practice retelling a story. And then when we get back to school, you can tell me all about the books that you read at home. Okay? All right. Happy reading.